In a new report, the State Department of Natural Resources estimates that 84,000 acres of trees, primarily in western Washington, were damaged by that heat wave last June, what's called needle desiccation. The evidence is still here nine months later, wilted, curled up branches of Douglas fir trees in Maple Valley. And many of the buds for new growth, these are, dead. These, these have had it. Those have had it, yeah. The bud should look like this. You can see it's green inside, and those are, if you put it under a microscope, those are tiny, tiny little needles in there. With this kind of damage from this heat event, all, all the buds are, are dead, and so no, it will not recover in this case. Glenn Kohler works for the Department of Natural Resources, and what happened here caught his eye as he drove through town. I thought there'd been a roadside fire. Um, they just looked completely red, and as I looked a little bit closer, I realized that it wasn't the bottom up burning like from a fire. It was literally from the top down. Three days late last June, official temperatures recorded at SeaTac Airport were above 100, which until just a few years ago was nearly unheard of. On June 28th, it hit 108. In Maple Valley, it was even hotter at 114. This DNR map created using airplane surveys shows this damage in red, and it was not confined to Maple Valley. But this heat damage was found in multiple spots in western Washington, including the coast. This cedar is still struggling. Kohler is an entomologist. He's a bug specialist. There are a couple of old uh, adult bark beetles that are still in here. That little black thing's like a small grain of rice. That's the adult bark beetle. And in another Douglas fir, which died from other causes, he shows me what he's worried about. And the female lays eggs along here, and you can see the little larvae mining out. Stress is what makes trees vulnerable to insect infestations, he says, and drought and direct heat damage is stress. For these larger trees, it would probably take a few years of, the, of that kind of damage to, to stress them enough for the beetles to, to get an advantage. He points to record drought seasons like 2015 that have contributed to stress on trees. If we have a drought year this year, that would add to that stress. The good news is that while the air temperatures were bad, it was really the sun that also made the situation worse on one side of the tree versus the other meaning these trees should recover. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.